What's up LED nerds? You may have noticed that this video is shot in 4K60, which is pretty fucking cool, right? That is because I accidentally washed my old iPhone and uh, was forced to upgrade because it had gone through pretty much a full cycle before I realized where it was when I wanted to listen to Spotify and couldn't. So uh, I've got a new phone and it looks pretty butt kicking. My space here in the basement is an absolute fucking disaster because I'm trying to do so many things at once and I should really just focus on something. So I really have to clean it up, <laughs> but uh, what better time to do a quick update on the various projects that I have on the go. And we'll start with the jalapeno experiment. So whether or not you've been keeping up, I'm not sure, but I have uh, an experiment going here where I have three different lights, each a different color temperature. They are all horticulture lighting group Quantum Bore 288s, and uh, I've got four jalapeno plants under each of them. These are all from the same seed pack, and they were all sprouted at the same time, and they have each been under their respective color temperatures since they started. So on the right, I have 3000K 90 CRI. In the center, I have 3000K 80 CRI, and then on the left, I have 4000K 80 CRI. And I've made some changes. Initially, I only had one light. I just stepped on a light. I had one light uh, for each space and it was only a two by two, but uh, a week ago I decided to expand. So now I have two lights for each color temperature and I bumped up to a three by three space because it was getting pretty crowded for these four plants, but this should buy me some time. Hopefully I don't have to expand anytime soon again, but things are looking pretty good. Not a lot has changed. Everything has gotten bigger proportionally, but the ratio seemed to be about the same. Still the 3000 K eighties, are the tallest and they seem to be they seem to take up the most space but they're not really the densest of the group i would say that uh it's almost a toss-up between the 4000 k's and the 3000 k 90. both of these guys on the left and the right are shorter on average than the 80s these are getting closer the 4000 k's are certainly shorter except for the lanky one in the corner but they are like i say a little bit denser you can kind of see through these whereas these guys have a lot more uh, leaves close together but not a huge difference really so that's where these are at 4000 K are they probably have made the most progress since my last update they're looking much better and they're they're kind of coming on strong now so I'm hoping that these things really fill out 3000 K's are still going hard they're still really tall taking up a lot of room and these 90s, I think they just look the best. I'm, I'm kind of biased towards them because they just, I don't know, under this particular spectrum, they just look really nice and healthy. But still, everything is getting the same nutrients from the same batch at the same time in the same amount, just trying to keep everything fair. And uh, it's going pretty smoothly. So, what else have I got on the go other than that? Uh, I'm about to kick off this experiment over here. And this is going to be a comparison between the Horticulture Lighting Group HLG65, which is a 65 watt uh, Samsung LM561C light. There's 120 of them on here. And we're going to be comparing that against a Viper Spectra 300 watt light. And this has all the super cool red and blue lights. I'm kind of blinding myself right now. Shouldn't do that. So that's got the different spectrum going on, whereas this is just a, a, a full white light. There we go. And it, you know, I'm trying to figure out how best I should compare these. Right now I have them set up at the exact same height. They're both 20 inches off of the ground, but there's a pretty considerable difference in output between them because of a different power draw, right? So I have the Mars plugged in right now. Fuck, Mars, I keep calling it a Mars Hydro. Viper Spectra, same shit, right? Just about. Anyway, it's drawing 128, 129 watts. So that's a fair bit of power. So if we compare that to the HLG. The HLG is drawing about 64 watts. So pretty much half, right? Like half power. And then if I plug them both in, get in there, you little jerk. Plug them both in, 
and we read some PPFD values, you'll see that it does make a pretty big difference. So we'll start with the Viper Spectra. If I go center beneath this light, I'll see if I can find the hottest spot underneath it. About 3.9 seems to be where it maxes out. Then if I go over under the HLG 65 at the same height, we'll move this meter too. It's more like 2.2. And off to the side, like if I go right to the side in the middle, 1.6. And compared to the Viper, that is 2.4. So this thing's drawing twice the power but it is putting out a considerable amount of light compared to the HLG65. So I'm trying to decide what the best way is to compare these two because if I just drop the HLG65 closer to the plants, I don't know if that's, it's kind of like cheating, but then again, this guy's getting twice the power, so that's not really fair either. So it's tough to do a straight side-by-side -side comparison. And you know, maybe it does make sense to drop this one because if I drop the Viper, then it's, that's gonna be way too much light, right? So it would make sense to keep it higher and then drop this one to you know, a reasonable level. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that kind of cheating? Does that make sense? Should I have them at the same height? Should I go try to measure PPFD and get that equal? I don't know. So I'm mulling that over. At the same time, I do have my seeds ready to go under each light. So I have two different types of tomatoes and I'm gonna put two of each under each of the lights. I have a yellow one and it's a shit I forget what it's called it's like an early riser or a early girl it's some stupid name like that so I have two yellow ones going under the <laughs> MH I marked it because I was thinking Mars Hydro again that should be VS and I also have some red ones the red tomatoes are a heartbreaker F1 I believe it was called HLG so, like I say, I've kind of paired them up so that there are two equal-sized red ones on this side, two equal-sized red ones on this side, two equal yellows, two equal yellows, and I'll just keep going and keep growing them until I run out of room under that light, and then I'll just uh, probably pick the strongest one and just kind of like thin them out as I go until eventually I just have one light, or sorry, one plant under each light because you can't really get much more than a, <laughs> one single tomato plant in a two by two under a single light. So that's where I'm at with that. And in the tent, I used to have the HLG 65 running, but now that I've moved it over, I'm gonna to have to come up with something else to go in this space to light these little banana peppers. And I think I have an idea that is like a perfect application for these butt kicking new HLG QB 96s. So these are 96 of the LM 561C diodes. And the form factor is really cool. It's a, it's about two, what, two and a half inches wide by 22 and a half inches long. So I was kind of uh, screwing around here with a little frame that I already had built for something else. And unfortunately, they're a little bit too long to screw onto this one. It would have been pretty sweet if they fit, but I'm thinking this would be a really cool idea for something like that because this strip fits just about perfectly in a two by two. Like that almost, that's, doesn't get much better than that. So if I had a whole ceiling full of these things, like that would be some awesome coverage for this tent to have the whole ceiling lit up with diodes. So if I can find the time and the resources to get that built, I think that's what I'm going to try. And you know, they would be really great for side lighting as well. Like if you could just throw a few of them around the side, that'd almost be cool too, to like light the whole fucking thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of them plus some on the ceiling. That would be like an overload of light though. So that's just an idea that I'm working with for that tent. Aside from that, I think I've pretty much rambled everything that I can think of now. I've got this on the go. I'm just getting this started here. And I would like to hear your opinions on what the best way is to compare these two lights because I wanna make it as equal and unbiased as possible. And again, like if these things are just uh, a different class, you know, if it, they can't really be compared, then so be it. But I'd like to see 
these things go head to head and I, I have a feeling that this HLG can probably compete with it but uh, I just want to make sure it's fair so thanks for watching guys and stick around I'll keep you posted on everything see you then